Okay, before we get hands on, I have to give you a little bit of death by a PowerPoint, but it's for good reason. So we need to introduce the five stages of ethical hacking. These are the five stages that you will go through on every assessment. So before we do that, let's first make a big note. From here on, we are moving into the ethical hacking portion of our course. We're gonna learn malicious things. Please only use the information learned in this course for ethical purposes. Do not attack your neighbors. Do not attack anybody that you do not have explicit permission to do so. You can and will get into trouble for doing that. So with that out of the way, let's talk briefly about the five stages of ethical hacking. So we start up at the top and we actually start with what is called reconnaissance. This stage is also known as information gathering, and there are two different types. There's active and passive. Now, passive is saying like going out to Google and searching for somebody. Say you're given a client and you want to look at their Google, you want to look at LinkedIn, you might be looking for, I don't know, a picture of their badge or an employee's name or maybe an employee's Twitter page. That's all passive. You're not actually going out to the company's website and doing anything active against it. Now, active reconnaissance kind of falls into place with the second phase, which is scanning and enumeration. Now, that is active. That is where we go out and we take tools such as Nmap and Nessus and Nikto, and you've never heard of any of those, that's fine. But we take those and we scan actively against a client. Now, what we're looking for are open ports, vulnerabilities, different items. And with what returns on these results when we do this scanning, we also perform what is called enumeration. Enumeration is just looking at items and digging into them to see if we can find anything of value. Say that there is a web server running on port 80. We see port 80 is open and it's running something like Apache 1.2, which would be really, really outdated. We would go out to Google and we would say, Google, do you know if Apache 1.2 has any exploits for it? And we would do research. That's the enumeration portion of it. So once we do our information gathering, we do our scanning enumeration, then we move into the gaining access portion. This is also known as exploitation. We will run an exploit against the client or against the vulnerable service or whatever it may be to try to gain access into a machine or into a network, into an environment, etc. Once we have that access, the process starts to repeat. We do scanning and enumeration again, and we also want to maintain that access, right? So if we were to get kicked out, okay, or a user shuts down their computer, how do we maintain that access so when they turn their computer back on, we still have access to it? And then lastly, there is the covering tracks. You want to delete any logs that you may leave behind. You want to delete any kind of malware that you upload, which is more important as a pen tester. Any accounts that you create for any reason, you want to delete those as well. You really just want to clean up is a good way of putting it. Covering tracks is the more hacker way of putting it, but as a penetration tester, you really just want to clean up. So we're going to go heavily through steps one through three. In this course, we'll also cover four and five briefly, but the process and methodology never changes. Regardless if you're doing network, if you're doing web app, or if you're doing a different type of assessment, it's all similar in this five stages of hacking. The tools might change, the attack methods might change, but the overall methodology is always the same. So that's how we're also going to structure this course. We're going to go in first and we're going to talk about information gathering and reconnaissance. Then we're going to move into scanning and enumeration. And then we'll start with exploitation and do that repeatedly till we get it inside of our heads and our, it feels almost second nature, right? Once we have all that done, we'll do some practice boxes, you know, give it a go, see how we do. We'll move into the internal side of things with Active Directory. We'll start working with our web applications and our wireless, and we will touch on the maintaining access and covering tracks, but you're gonna see this methodology over and over, and you might also get this question on an interview, you know, to describe the five stages. So it's important to know these, it's just something that every ethical hacker can rattle off pretty quickly. 
So have this written down, think about it, keep your wheels spinning, and let's go ahead and move on to our first section, which is going to be information gathering slash reconnaissance, let's learn some cool tools, some Google Foo, and just what kind of information we can actually gather on a potential client.